Hi guys and welcome to week 10 and this video is not so much a tip of the week but it's just an explanation of what is coming. This week you will start um, exploring learning objectives and content resources as we make our way to creating a HyperDocs lesson which will be over the next four weeks and so you're going to be putting little pieces of it together as we go along. So um, just make sure and explore all of the resources. You should be familiar with Blooms, but this video is a kind of a, a remix of Blooms according to um, integrating technology into the whole process. And we'll focus a lot on helping students become creators instead of just passive recipients of information. And so a lot of the lesson resources, the digital tools that we'll explore in a couple of weeks, a lot of them have to do with helping students create, not just um, respond passively um, to lessons. And so you will be exploring lots and lots of different resources, creating examples and putting them together into a lesson. And so what I suggest for this week is that you start thinking about what that lesson is going to look like, because you're going to be um, looking at lesson objectives. For some of you, this will be a review. Some of you have already student taught. Some of you are in um, your junior or senior year, but some of you are freshmen or and sophomores. And so this might be a little bit newer to you. So some of these things you might not feel like you need to do. So I put this little short quiz about what is a good and bad um, objective as optional. Um, but you can also watch this little video. They're not very long. And then exploring the Missouri Learning Standards, this one, I just want to get you familiar with them and start thinking about a couple of them you would like to use in your HyperDocs lesson. And for those of you who have a more performance-oriented um, content area like music or PE or um, art or trying to think something like that. What I want you to think about, this will make um, the development of our HyperDocs lesson a little bit simpler. I want you to think about doing something that um, is not so performance based. So for music ed majors, it might be music theory or music history. And for PE majors, it might be more nutrition oriented or health. Um, and so this will help you to um, develop your lesson with all of the different components that I'm asking you to do. And so for this small group, you really are just going to be brainstorming objectives. So you're going to um, sharing your lesson objectives, rewriting some bad ones, and um, making sure I want you to know that it is not a lesson plan at all. So you're going to just include these things. And um, then you're going to give small, you're going to give your small group members feedback um, on their objectives. And then I want you to, to read about or listen to me talk about um, the content or the message that you send students. And so it's more than just your content area, like history or um, science. It's more than that. It's about how you develop your lessons, how you lay out um, the structure of them, but also your environment and all of the, the ins and outs of that. And so you can look at that or listen to that and then you're going to be evaluating some websites um, that you can use within your content area, your HyperDocs lesson. And that is my suggestion to you that you have that thought in mind about what you want your lesson to be about, and then you look specifically for those. Um, and here you can choose one of these. You're going to be looking at how to evaluate websites um, for younger students or up here for middle school or high school students. That's teaching your students how to evaluate information, which is really important, but then you are actually going to evaluate some. And so you will make a copy and this is due by Friday and you can look at all of that. Um, and then I kind of do a little like flash forward. Here's a heads up explanation of your curated lesson resources. So what you're going to do after we start exploring lots of different resources to put in your lessons, you're going to actually collect in one place 10 of them in this. And so you can watch that little video um, if you want a heads up about what we're going doing going forward. So this week really it is about exploring objectives, writing some and getting feedback, and then evaluating websites that you might use in your um, in your lesson. And 
that is really it. So I look forward to, to hearing about your thoughts for what kind of lesson you want to develop and um, seeing how you guys give each other feedback. So um, that's really it. Thanks.